and another weekend vlog! Yay! And guess where we're at today? We're in... Oh. <laughs> we're in Chester, West Virginia. Yeah, we're down here to... Uh, celebrate our Easter with her parents. Yeah, so happy Easter everyone. I know, hopefully everybody had a wonderful Easter vacation or just spending time with your family and loved ones. So we decided to stop and see the uh, roadside attraction yeah. of... We thought you guys might enjoy a little bit of facts and just what about the largest teapot in the world. Yes, I didn't know about this teapot when I lived across the river over in East Liverpool mm -hmm. and told Melinda, until I met Melinda at the casino, yeah. and she happened to tell me about this teapot. teapot. And I've never seen it, but I saw it, and now uh, it's rather interesting. <laughs> so enjoy. The Chester Teapot was constructed by William Babe Devon. The teapot started its life as a gigantic wooden hogshead barrel for a Hires Root Beer advertising campaign. After being closed for two years during World War II, the teapot and Devon's pottery business were sold to Mary, oh boy, Worsher, I know I butchered that one, and Relda Kane in 1947. Food was once again sold out of the teapot until the late 60s when it became unprofitable. It was at this time that the teapot was used to sell lawn and garden items as well as china and novelty pieces. The teapot was sold in 1971 to Cecil and Alice Fletcher and then to the C&P Telephone. It sat abandoned in place until 1984 when C&P Telephone offered to donate the teapot to the city of Chester. In the early 90s, the teapot was moved to its present location adjacent to the Jennings Randolph Bridge ramp at the junction of State Route 2 and U.S. Route 30, and it was officially dedicated on October 12, 1990. The teapot stands on a manicured lawn between elevated U.S. 30 and its Chester exit ramp. It is 12 feet high, 44 feet wide, and it was purchased in 1938. Hey guys, so it is the next day. It is April 9th. Chris will put it up above. Hopefully you liked our little stop in Chester, West Virginia at the largest teapot. Um, so yes, yeah, so after we saw the teapot, we went over to my mom and dad's house. My sister, uh, my oldest sister came in from Columbus, Ohio, and my sister, my middle sister, uh, she lives in West Virginia, um, where my parents live. So it was just a really nice relaxing time with them. So we really didn't film anything while we were there. I did take some pictures of the cheesecake and the lemon bar. So, um, yeah, hopefully Chris put those pictures up. You did? Yeah, I did. I didn't know that. Because I wanted, to, wanted them to see what it what looked okay. like because I made uh, the lemon bars last oh, week. Oh, that's right. So that's if right, you want right. to see how those turn out, just go back to video from last week and you can see what I made and the description of the recipe for the lemon cheesecake bars was down below in the other video. So we just had a very nice relaxing time at my parents. We watched home videos which was so nice to see my grandma brown again um, in the videos and we just did some crafts and just caught up on what was going on in our lives. So it was just a real relaxed day yesterday. So we got up today, had breakfast, got on the road. It's like a two-hour drive from where we live down to where my parents live. And it was just, it's been a really nice day. Oh, now I gotta slow down. So, right now, right as you can see, we're in the basement. And we are going to start taking things out of the basement and trying to get it out into the garage. But first, we gotta take stuff out of the garage mm -hmm. to make room to put stuff yeah. back into the garage. So we're gonna do a lot of shuffling. So I don't know how much we're gonna get done today. So hopefully this vlog, I it, I know it's gonna be a short vlog. So it's gonna be a Christopher vlog. Well, yeah, we missed all yesterday. I know. So anyway, so that is it. So hopefully you enjoy the rest of our day.
okay, friends and family. I think that's going to do it for us for this weekend vlog. Um, Melinda's inside resting up. But we, we were able to get the basement pretty much cleared out. Uh, the garage is uh, getting more full with her stuff. But we got more of the, the chairs and stuff put out here under the under the pavilion. We even were able to have a little, a little fire over there. But Melinda's, like I said, she's inside resting up. So I forgot to just come out here and... And end the video here. So I uh, hope you're enjoying the weekend vlogs. Uh, so remember, until next video, you're never too old to be young. See everyone later. Bye.